Waking up early in the morning and turn around the key, it's the best feeling in the world. What I love is not only moving towards new destinations, but also leaving old places behind and watch them fade away in the rear view mirror. Being on the run is an easy method to leave worries behind. This is one free motorhome area in Zaragoza. I'm not going to stay here because firstly you have all of these cars and also lots of uh, wild nature over here, meaning my cat is going to get ticks and shit on him. Look at this, it looks like shit. Why would anyone want to stay here? Well, all of these people want to stay here because you know it's the first thing they find on Google Maps when they type in uh, autocaravanas or whatever. Weird, weird cars like this is always from Germany. They are always from Germany. See, if anywhere, I would, I would park here somewhere. Not, not over there with all the other cars. Here is where I would park. No, here is where I would have parked. Look. Oh my God. See, <laughs> how cool is that? You will have all of this area to yourself, but still not gonna park it. This would have been so cool, and in the middle of the winter I would probably have done it, but I know that ticks, they are kind of alive and kicking now for the season, so I don't like it. Are you sightseeing, Batsky? Yeah. What are you looking at? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. This could certainly have been a cool stop, but it is still not where we are staying. This is where we are parked. It's right next to a dog wash and also right next to a dog park. So I think my cat is probably not gonna like it much here. Baisky, go in and play in this park. Ah, I know what you're whining about. He needs to go to the bathroom. Then he starts talking like that all the time. But let's go put one. Let's go up here for a view. <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, hand. Huh? Yeah, do. Let's go. What you do? Go to back and meet him. Go to back and meet we are starting to unload all the dogs now. I'm telling you, it's going to be so much dogs, dogs here all over the place. My cat is going to uh, freak out. Of course, she unleashed the big dog. Why not? Why not unleash your dog so you can start running after cats and cause troubles and shit everywhere? Used to be parked over there. I relocated to this corner instead. There's going to be more cars and traffic here, but. Uh, much uh, fewer dogs and my cat he's going to have access to a to a super cool park here where is the cat by the way by skin how can he just disappear in a couple of minutes I'm telling you it's gonna be down here somewhere there he is look <laughs> he's this cat he's so uh, I know exactly what he's doing he's got, he's looking for mice and prey immediately so he goes into bushes and stuff that's exactly why I come to places like this so that he doesn't get any ticks on him if we are close to a uh, woods or any kind of vegetation he goes straight into it immediately it's very windy outside but I still want to launch my drone and see what uh, see this area from the sky but before we do that let me show you on Google Maps where we are and what the plan is Zaragoza is in the center on your screen right now. It's in the north of Spain. Spain is in Europe, which you probably already knew. If we zoom in a little bit here, 
we are parked as here in the top left corner this whole area here is one huge park and we are parked right here specifically in this corner of this parking lot what i want to do first is to deploy my drone and uh, check out this area from the sky then i want to walk this way and have a look at this bridge which is a pedestrian only bridge i think and then we're going to continue walking here check out this park and then also visit this aquarium which i don't think is going to be dope just a small aquarium but we'll see and that's what i have planned for this video take off the home point has been updated please check it on the map it's really windy outside i can feel it on the con in the control it's not really following my movements so that's the car strong wind one three ton home automatic left Oh gosh, okay, <laughs> fuck it. I have to go back, oh shit, oh god, he's fucking flying all over the place now, shit, shit, where am I, shit, now I don't have any strong winds anymore, right, yeah, let's try this one more time, let's try this one more time, the drone started to go down in elevation automatically, that's what scared me, Oh, I can feel it. No, he's moving. The wind is catching on. The wind is the wind is pushing him in, in in weird directions. Not not the direction I am trying to get it. Here I can definitely do some sport. When all the kids are gone, that is. What is this? This is very weird. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I think in the summer they fill this up with water, but now it's just dry, unused land. Yeah, you see that? That's the water. Let's go over to the other side of this. Oh, it's pushing the drone out. Yeah, see, because the wind can push him over, I believe. The wind can push him over. That. that was a little bit dangerous i could feel how i was pushing the drone one direction but the drone was going the other direction and fast at one point it was starting to wobble and and uh, was sort of on its way of tipping over and <laughs> so that was that was uh, a little bit scary actually look i wanted to show you something what's up with these trees they have bark up here but they are naked down here. I don't. I don't understand that really. They have wrapped this uh, this tree with plastics. That's weird. I am so fucking happy. Look what I found. An outdoor gym. It has pretty much everything that I need, which is this piece over here. See this tree here? It's even more white. Than the ones we saw in uh, Veska. Oh Jesus! It's a fucking spider. There was a fucking spider on the tree. There's the guy. See it? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm never going to touch a tree again. It was this close the spider jumped me. I think this is a bird sanctuary. Yeah, it's fenced off, so ordinary people can't go in here. It's just for birds, but I don't see any birds here, so. I guess we're out of season. I lasted about 10 minutes in this park. Now I want to go to the aquarium where nature is put behind a glass wall at a safe distance. I was almost attacked in this park by a spider. This is a big bridge meant for cars. But what I want to find out is what's beneath the bridge, right? Can you go there? Can you walk in there? Can you have a barbecue? Can you park your car? Nothing too exciting going on here, except what we have 
right here at the base of these pillars some graffiti Ah, oh, Jesus I stepped in in water my shoes are still leaking I don't have a new pair of shoes yet there's the bridge the one I really wanted to see Wow there's the other side of the bridge so, so this is a bridge only for pedestrians I believe no it's closed I guess we're gonna have to come back to this bridge another time before we go to the aquarium I want to step inside this building and see uh, what's inside of here look someone homeless is living here why is everything locked this is a little bit later in the afternoon now I had to go and take care of a thing and the sky looks all freaky I don't know how to put this I can't see the fog but it's clearly a shade of some sort covering the sky and you see the Sun is behind that like it's filtered out it's super weird this is super weird I read on on the weather report that apparently a dust storm was gonna come in here from Sahara uh, today maybe this is it Th this is what it looks like then I don't know the aquarium is right over here somewhere Can you read this, please? The instruction for the visit. If you want, uh, what is this? The instruction for the visit. Ah, you can have it. Uh, mm -hmm. The mask. I am wearing a mask. <laughs> Today is closed. <laughs> yeah. What is closed? Durante todo el recorrido tienes que llevar la mascarilla siempre puesta. I don't understand. Okay? I do not understand. Por eso te lo tienes que leer. No, but I read it. It's fine. You can keep it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. She was nasty, this one. She got angry because I didn't want to keep her paper. Stupid. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I was speaking to the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. She was uh, the receptionist, uh, the clerk. She was not a friendly person. She, she, was, she was super bitter, like almost mean, you know. Fuck. Okay, yeah, are you enjoying the fish? Yes. yes. Uh, what does this mean? No toca. Don't touch? But how am I supposed to touch the fish from here? It doesn't make sense. Don't touch the window. Oh, I see. Hmm, smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense now. Thank you. Oh, what the fuck is that thing over there? What is that thing over there? That's a crocodile. Nasty motherfucker. Creepy. Oh, you win the staring competition, my friend. This is a big, ugly fish. What I'm really looking forward to is the tourist shop they have after uh, we walk through all of this. Because in the tourist shop is where I find the small teddy bears to put in the front of my windshield. That's really why I came here. <laughs> That's the real reason. Should I put my hand in this water? What will happen? That's the question. Can I touch one of these? Oh no, oh no. I, I feel like they, they want to attack me. Uh, okay, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm too afraid. Huh. Gosh, nope. And the water is cold also. Finally, something that isn't fish. There's a snake there. 
but he's not moving. Maybe all of these animals are dead. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? You know. I paid 17 euros for this, really. Now this was actually an interesting creature. I don't think I've seen something like this before. What a weird thing. Wow. Are you asleep, my friend? Anyone home? He's completely out of it. They must have drugged this guy. Oh, disgusting. He's shedding. Do you see that? He's shedding. Is this a real tree? There's a really nasty smell in here. In comparison, this is my hand, meaning that's a very big fish. Damn. That is one ugly fish. This is almost a little bit creepy. Oh, that is disgusting. That's really, really disgusting. This is even more disgusting. Finally, the gift shop. Now to pick out my uh, teddy bear to put in, in the windshield. Yeah, probably, probably this shark. This was, this shark was pretty cool actually. Whale or whatever this is. I'm gonna go with this guy. This one, no, this one. No, I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with this one. No, I'm gonna go with this one. He would look weird, this guy. No, he also looks weird. I'm gonna go with this guy. This guy is, is who I'm having. And I'm also having one of these. This guy. He was a little bit chubby. This guy. Cool. 17 euros for uh, the ticket to get inside and 17 euros for two teddy bears. So that's all in all, 32 euros if you wanna come here and walk away with teddy bears. Before I go back to the car, I'm gonna see if I can break into that building over there. You know what? This is insane. I think that this tower, it's abandoned because, uh, look, it's kind of sealed off here. This hasn't moved for quite a while. It's the same thing here. It's all sealed off. That is a fucking abandoned skyscraper. The problem is there's a whole bunch of cameras here. So, yeah, I don't want to be breaking in here. I just unpacked my teddy bears in the windshield. And I thought I was filming everything, but apparently I wasn't filming everything. And then my cat started to play with the teddy bears. It was so much fun. You would have laughed your ass off. It was, he was so cute, adorable. Uh, the moment is gone. But let me show you the result, what the teddy bears look like in the windshield. This guy is a little bit out of place because my cat, my cat was playing with him. He's supposed to be there. Here's the white guy, the new white guy. And here's the whale guy over on in this corner. Whenever I put a new stuffed animal here, what happens is that my cat starts playing with it for weeks. Well, you know, perhaps one week or so, but eventually he gets tired of it and he stops playing with it. So each one of these, he has played with it 
for about a week or so and then he stops using that and then but every time I put in a new animal here the whole cycle repeats it, it's interesting because what makes this what makes this uh, stuffed animal any more playful or fun to play with than this guy or this guy or this guy just because he has he has played with these before it's it's so weird where's the cat i have to end the video oh there's the cat <laughs> it's Basky, come hit my day. Yeah, fine. You too, by the way. Come here, Batkin. A do little stig pojke som bråkar med hundar. Oh. Basky bråkar med hundar. Basky, he doesn't like dogs. No. Basky, we should go inside now and say goodbye to the camera. You have a duty, Basky. You have a job. <laughs> So yeah, Barsky and me, we wish you a good rest of the day to you. Bye bye, camera. Say bye bye. Oh gosh, disgusting. He had a mouse earlier in his mouth. That's all. So I don't want to touch him for the whole day now. Yeah. Anyways, good night. Catch you later.